welcome to another episode of Naomi the Ching. On today's episode, I am channeling the, you wouldn't even know it, but Sagittarians can be very um, indecisive at times, you know, not very sure about what it is that they want to do because they're so optimistic about so many things working out in their favor or best case scenario so they don't really want to land on just one they want to land on them all you know what i mean and i feel like this is a week for you to that you're going to be dealing with the decision a decision needs to be made and it could have a lot to do with um your parenting style or the way you view people or the way you want to help i feel like somebody is very helpful um to their family and to their friends and to almost to their detriment to the point where it's like i'm gonna always be there to help you because i want to see you win and because you're so optimistic you really do see that for them but i'm here to let you know that sometimes you, it helps them for you not to help them <laughs> sometimes you're more helpful by way of falling back and being there just on the just in case from state farm just in case but not as a um not as a primary like you know uh, how do you say when not as a primary contact like somebody they have to depend on um i feel like this week it could be some financial losses going going on with some of the people that you're around and they might be reaching out a lot for your help um like maybe even to the point where it's exhausting your resources if it is financially or if it's physically like at this point, I'm so tired of all this running around I have to do for everybody else. And then who's going to run around for me? I feel like this is a emotionally fulfilling week where you're going to be able to sit back and see where people need you. What bus do they put you on? Um, are they going to come in to come to your rescue sometimes? Like it's going to really get you're going to gain perspective in this week to come. Um, and all is fair in love and war. I feel like this is a. a a week where you're going to realize some cause and effect of things where you're going to see okay well i see where i caused this because now i'm living in the effect of what it means when you help people how you enable them sometimes i feel like this week um in particular you guys could be working on something or maybe finding out about something that you want to do as a career or even as a hobby that you are going to finally do. It's going to be a path that you absolutely fall in love with and you need to ride that wave because it'll give you something else to concentrate on other than standing in the way of other people's um, happiness. Not like you're trying to stand in their way, you know what I mean? And you're trying to like block them from getting their blessings. But when you are always there in the midst of when they're in trouble, then you are essentially blocking them from their blessings because who appointed you God? Okay, like you got to make sure that you're not doing the Lord's work. Let God do his work and you do your work. And your work is causing for your, uh, is calling for your attention this week. So if I were you, I would take time out to like focus on my hobbies and things that I can do. Maybe you should probably even think about taking a class and going back to school. Like this is a very good week because um, not only Sagittarius just love to be learned, meaning that they love to find out information and like really suss out the truth or not. But um, this is a good week to that will inspire those type of thoughts in your mind. So. Before we get into your actual read, let's go ahead and do the YouTube stuff. You already know I was going to hit you up sooner or later. Let me get that uh, like about you, please. Like the video if you haven't already and make sure that you subscribe. And thank you for everybody that already has. Thank you for pushing me into the YouTube algorithm. You know I appreciate it. Um, also, comment below and let me know how this energy resonates in your life this week. So I feel like this is a very lighthearted energy, Sagittarius is, because I literally just went through two other signs and it wasn't all good in the hood. Okay, so let me just go ahead and tell you that I, I already can feel the sense of um, this being a very good week for you. One that you need to act upon accordingly. Like I feel like there's some things that's going on um, in your projects or, or entrepreneurship or even work life that's going to cause for you um for a cause for your attention and spirit is letting you know like this is there is no better time but now to act and i also feel like it's some things going on at home where 
Um, good, bad, or indifferent. It's just asking you to go ahead and um, let's go ahead and start figuring that part out. Okay, let's go ahead and start. Um, as far as the home goes, I feel like somebody who is like very mothering, very nurturing, there for their children, um, running and doing all the errands, drops out, drop out pickups when it comes down to friends and stuff like that. Where the other parent at? Can they can't they meet you? It's like that type of energy. Don't do more than what is asked for. Like don't do your part and everybody else's part. If you helping somebody, how how you gonna help them get a job and then bring them to work and then make sure they got food on their stomach? These are grown people. It's not like you're helping out children. It's like you're helping out adults, okay? That are very able and capable of helping out themselves. So I'm asking you. Um, places in your um, life this week that might need attention is your home. The next one is definitely your finances as it pertains to all things second house. Like how are you making your money? Are you charging enough? Are you charging enough? If you're not charging enough, it has a direct correlation to the way you feel about yourself. Also, your resources as it pertains to like um, how do you get it? Are you connected to the right people that can um, pour into you or do you want to be the only one that's pouring into everybody else it can't be like that it has to be an even ebb and flow so that's another part of your life this week i feel like needs your attention and i feel like you guys could be staying up all night and having like many many thoughts going through and you're probably up all night like going through a lot of um best case scenarios or sometimes even worst case scenarios if you guys are not healed. But I do feel like a lot of money coming your way. You popped up in your own reading too. I see. I see y'all are here. Um, but I see like a new project or an urge to create or an urge to do something dealing with like beauty or beautifying something. is definitely something you should pay attention to because I feel like by way of getting started in this project, it's going to help you make more money and spirit is keep i keep hearing it's time to act it's time to act if you've been sitting on an idea and not knowing exactly which way to go with it um it, it doesn't feed you emotionally okay is it something that you can do to make it better um is it a beautifying aspect is it like um something dealing with like anything dealing with venetian type things um, especially with the second house you know taurus rules the second house so like anything dealing with like maybe food or um, any kind of comfort um, check into that I feel like you have a lot of potential when it comes to that and I feel like um, you're being activated at this at this point so by way of feeling activated sometimes you might feel a little discomfort before the activation actually starts because that spirits way of giving you a nudge like it's time to get out there let's go ahead and get out there but I feel like right now you need to do a lot of meditation um, and what I mean by meditation is different for everybody. Maybe you need to do some breath work. Maybe you need to go on a long walk. Maybe you need to listen to some music. Maybe spirit is trying to talk to you through some music. Maybe you need to do a little yoga, a little movement. Or maybe you do need to just sit in a solitary room with your finger, with your thumb tips to your, um, to your middle fingers and um it's okay you could do that too but i feel like this week you need to meditate because your mind and your thoughts are kind of not grounded right now because you have so much going on with everybody else okay so the way you focus in on yourself give yourself some meditation and some self-care and um spirit will tell you exactly what direction you need to go in but i'm telling you whatever creative project that you're working on it is definitely time to act spirit source universe god himself herself is waiting on you and that's all i have for you guys today thank you for watching as usual please make sure you hit subscribe if you haven't already because you already know i'm watching if you have thank you and also make sure that you like and comment and until next time mwah.